All right, so why are you here? How can well, I help? Sweet Winston, he kind of gets out of control at times. Okay. Actually, a lot of the time. Okay. The biggest problem is the pool. Anytime anybody goes in that pool, he's just like diving right in. And, you know, I have an 80-year-old mother-in-law, and he gets so worked up, he gets running around that pool. And if she goes underwater, he'll dive right in on top of her, and he could actually hurt somebody. Yeah. The thing you have to understand, what, I can't remember the breed again, it's, it was Portuguese. <laughs> what was the last part? Yeah, water dog. Right. I get it. Instinctually, that's normal. You just want to be able to control, you want to put limits on it. And what I'm hearing is overexcited, you can't control space, and under-exercised. It's fat and happy. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the way they're supposed to be? Yeah, I don't know. So, this guilt feeling I'm feeling. So first- the lesson I had today. First the guilt. Yeah then the solutions. I'm gonna get out some dogs, I wanna see how he interacts. Once I kinda of get a better feel for who Winston is, we'll get to work. Fantastic. Awesome. I'm excited. I am too. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What happened was when I brought them in the yard, I didn't calm their brains. I didn't make them wait. I didn't make them look for permission. I just brought them out and let them kinda of take over the yard. I'm trying to observe Tommy's relationship with his dog, Winston, and what I'm seeing is his presence alone creates excitement. And if you represent excitement, you can't turn it off. So I'm gonna teach him how to represent calmness. I'm a little overwhelmed because how do I get the mechanics to get that done? So I'm looking forward to this afternoon. He's gonna give me those mechanics. We're gonna get Winston on track. Actually, we're gonna get me on track, <laughs> learning how to do it. So yeah, it's gonna be great. All right, Tommy, so the most basic thing you can do with Winston is walk him. But you know, the leash is not a restraint tool. It should be a communication tool. I'm gonna give you the leash, and you're gonna just use it as guidance to calm the brain and interruption as needed. And you're gonna just put yourself between him and any distraction. Beautiful. So I'm gonna have Chloe walk Bond in. This is really gonna put your skills to test. Okay. How good are you with the leash? How safe does Winston feel? Because this dog obviously doesn't feel great about Winston. All right, let's pretend like we're on a walk in the neighborhood. Good. All right, now hold on, I want you to stop right now. So we, we already made a mistake. Oh, great. How is it that Winston's gonna feel protected by you? On the wrong side. You have yeah, him on the wrong side. Yeah, yeah, you were exposing him to a reactive dog. So Winston got really nervous. Yeah, I got nervous yeah. too. <laughs> you can't be dog's nervous. crazy. Leaders aren't nervous. Okay. They're decisive. So now, Hold head on up. to that leash. <laughs> head up, chest out. You're yep. gonna lead your dog right past this, this reactive dog. No problem. Let's, Let's do go. it. Come on. Nice and confident. Good. Good, nice and confident. Look. Beautiful, beautiful. He's a really good dog. Y'all need to understand how to communicate with him. I'm really excited about what we're learning here today because for new pet owners, it's so important that they get the tools to create a happy home. And I think learning these, these mechanics will help you have that happy forever home.